Okay, so here is the second part of the light stage of photosynthesis. There are two stages in photosynthesis. I'm just going to jot these down over here actually to make that clear. So in photosynthesis, there are two stages. The light stage, or light dependent stage, and the dark stage, or light independent stage. Within the light stage then there are two pathways. So pathway one and pathway two. Pathway one is cyclic and pathway two is non-cyclic. So I've done a vodcast already on an introduction to photosynthesis. The next vodcast dealt with the light stage pathway one. And what we're going to look at now is the light stage pathway 2 which is called non-cyclic electron transport. So as we saw in the previous vodcast we have a chlorophyll molecule. Chlorophyll is the green pigment found in the leaf cells of plants and chlorophyll can absorb sunlight. So the first thing that happens in the process of photosynthesis is that chlorophyll absorbs light energy. There are electrons within the chlorophyll molecule and when the chlorophyll absorbs this light energy the electrons become energized. The electrons are then passed to an acceptor molecule. Now in pathway one in cyclic electron transport we saw that the electrons were then passed along an electron transport chain and returned to chlorophyll. It was cyclic and in the process ATP was produced. This is pathway two. This is non-cyclic electron transport. And something different is going to happen to the electrons in pathway two. So let's have a look. In pathway two, just two electrons are given off from the acceptor molecule. They combine with a hydrogen ion and NADP positive to form NADPH. Okay, so again here we have a balanced equation. We have two negatives here. We have a positive and a positive there. Now two negatives and two positives cancel each other out. So we end up here with a neutral result, NADPH. It's neither positive nor negative, it's neutral. That is pathway two of the light stage. However, we need to look at where does the plant get this hydrogen from? And if electrons are continuously becoming energized and then passed out of the chlorophyll molecule to produce this NADPH, won't the chlorophyll molecule eventually empty of electrons? There will be no more left. So there is something else that happens and it's called photolysis. Photolysis, also known as the splitting of water. So the plant absorbs water from its, well, from the soil through its roots and when this water gets to the leaves the plant splits it up. So we know that water is H2O and the plant splits, splits this up into oxygen. Okay, of course there's oxygen O there in H2O. Hydrogen and electrons. Now the oxygen is released or it can be used in respiration as well but most of it will be released. The hydrogen of course, this is H, so the hydrogen here is used for the formation of NADPH, that is where the plant gets the hydrogen from. And as I mentioned, the plant doesn't want chlorophyll becoming completely deficient in electrons so the electrons here from the water they are used to replenish the store of electrons in chlorophyll. So I forgot to write in here the step. It's easier to remember. Step four here. So this is step four up here. Um, energized electrons 
R-O-N-S, are used to produce NADPH. And then step five, water is split. Okay, then step six, electrons from water. Replenish the store in chlorophyll. Okay, so the electrons are passed from the acceptor molecule and they combine with a hydrogen ion which comes from water and NADP positive, you don't need to know where that comes from. We'll accept that that is present in the cell. And when these combine, NADPH is formed and that is one of the products of the light stage. NADPH. It is produced. Nothing else happens to that in the light stage. So that's one product. In the previous vodcast, ATP was one of the products of the light stage. We have one other product down here and that's oxygen. Nothing else happens to the oxygen. It's either released or it's used in respiration. When water is split, it is split into three parts, oxygen, hydrogen and electrons. Oxygen is released or used in respiration. Hydrogen is used here for the formation of NADPH and the electrons are used to replenish this store of electrons in chlorophyll. And that is the light stage. So there are two vodcasts on the light stage and this is what I suggest you do with them. So watch the two vodcasts and then draw them out. So draw the light stage. Pathway 1 and pathway 2. Maybe draw them both on one big sheet of paper. The second thing I suggest you do is draw it again. And keep drawing it until you can draw it from memory. Um, when you're asked then a question on photosynthesis in your exam. You can draw the whole thing and use your drawing to find the answers because I know some of you are more visual and you find it easier to learn the diagrams than to learn the sentences or to understand the sentences. So draw the whole thing, keep drawing it until you know it. When you're asked a question in your exam, for example, let's just say there is an exam question that states um, what are the fates of the products of the light stage of photosynthesis? Well, here we have oxygen. So what you could do there is you could take a coloured pen and put a circle around it there. And you write next to that question 14, A, part 1, or whatever it is. Now, there are fates of other products of the light stage. That's just one example. My point is you can draw your answer and then refer to the, the question in your exam sheet. Let's take that out. Okay, so that is the light stage. This is for biolog.ie. You will find more vodcasts on photosynthesis on that website. Ugh. That's it.